Denise Van Outen has admitted she wasn't in a great place after discovering her long-term partner Eddie Boxhall cheated on her for three years. The actress, 47, split from Eddie, 48, in January after seven years together, and admitted on Thursday's episode of Lorraine that she struggled to accept that this would be her new future. Despite her heartache, Denise insisted there are no hard feelings and that she managed to move forward. She said, I'm feeling really good now because I wasn't in a good place, it was all a bit of a shock. These things happen. I'm not the first person it's happened to and I won't be the last, sadly. But it's life, isn't it, Lorraine? You just have to get on with it and there are no hard feelings on my side. It's happened and you just accept it. I can't change what's happened. Nanise recently revealed she caught Eddie, 48, flirting sexually with three women and described his behavior as disrespectful and devastatingly hurtful. She claimed that she found pictures and Instagram messages on Eddie's iPad, detailing the ordeal in her new autobiography, A Bit of Me from Basil into Broadway and back. She said, among photos was a screenshot of a woman's breasts, and they definitely weren't mine. Also, there was a flirty text exchange between Eddie and this woman, which, of course, set off alarm bells. The star admitted the exchange happened in a week she had booked a Spanish holiday, explaining, Eddie decided not to come to Spain because he didn't feel well. While sympathetic, I was slightly confused about why he couldn't chill with me beside the pool but could still manage to go to the pub. Denise also discovered selfies of Eddie with a woman in a bar on a day he had told her he was in London for business. She realized by looking at the outline of the woman's chest she was not the same one in the first photos. She also found messages which suggested phone sex with a third woman called Tracy. Denise decided to contact Tracy and said, they'd never met in person, but she said the conversations had become sexual in nature reasonably quickly, some of the stuff I found on the phone seemed to support that. She added, to me, sexual chats and continued communication over a long period of time amount to cheating. Especially when it's done from the home it strived to build for us as a family. A home that Eddie found and I bought for us. A home we'd only just moved into when it all started. It was disrespectful and devastatingly hurtful. Denise confronted Eddie about the women but he denied doing anything wrong and she told him to leave. The star, who has an 8-year-old daughter with ex-husband Lee Mee, insisted, the thing I battled with most was that it wasn't just one person, one mistake or drunken night. This was something that had gone on for more than three years. I felt betrayed. She cried her heart out to her mother, adding, I was in pain and shock. It thought we had the perfect life. Any relationship has to be built on trust and once that's gone, there is no way forward. If I hadn't found those pictures, it'd be planning a wedding right now. Instead, I've simply got to move on. On Wednesday, Denise explained that she was really proud of herself for knowing when to walk away. She said on Radio 2 on Tuesday, the one thing I'm really proud of myself for is I do know when to walk away and I don't like to be taken advantage of. Sometimes it's been to the detriment of my own career or in my own relationships, but I just feel like it's really important as a woman to have self-worth and self-respect. I've always tried to maintain that in anything that I do in life, generally, more so now as a mother because I feel like him a role model and I've got to set an example. Denise went on to the muse that she can see light at the end of the tunnel, noting, the bad times are always followed by good times and that's what I always look forward to. 
I think you just ride the wave of the bad times knowing that eventually you will get to a good place.